Hey you guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, my name is Alessandra. I'm 32 weeks pregnant. I'll be 33 weeks tomorrow. And this video is all about my birth plan. And I'm putting that in quotes because as we know, most births don't go to plan. With that said, I think it's still important to have an idea of what you want and what you deserve and what you can ask for during your birthing experience. Also, the second part of this video, I'm going to be sharing a bunch of my favorites from our registry that we got from the baby shower. I know a lot of you guys commented and asked me from the last video if I'd be sharing what we got. I'm not gonna go through like every single thing, but I did wanna point out some of like the bigger things and like the top things that I think we're gonna be using a lot with the baby, so. Stay tuned for that. So for those of you who don't know, I am giving birth in a hospital. Um, Josh and I went to a little hospital tour slash class a couple weeks ago. And one of the requirements is they sent us home with this piece of paper. And it was basically just a birth plan and letting them know what we do or what we don't want when the time comes to have the baby. So I'm going to throw up actually what my exact plan is, that little paper on the screen here for you guys, and I'm going to read off of it now so I don't forget anything. Um, but pretty much my whole, I guess you could say philosophy slash mantra going into labor and delivery is to just go with the flow. And as much as I can plan and try to say I want to do things a certain way, this baby's gonna come as he wants to come. And sometimes you don't have control over that. So just keep that in mind while you're watching this. This is my idea and visualization of what I want my labor and birth experience to be, but who the heck knows what's gonna happen when the day comes. All right, back to the birth plan. So I'm 33 weeks tomorrow, which means I could have anywhere from four to nine weeks or so, um, depending on if he comes early on time or late. Everybody seems to think that this baby's gonna come early, including me. Josh was four weeks early and I was two weeks early when we were born. Whether that plays a role, I don't know, but this is also my first baby, so they usually say your first comes later, but, and then they also say, if you're athletic, you're more likely to go early too. So it's just like all of this information, nobody really knows, but I'm prepared. I have my hospital bag packed. I just finished that yesterday. So that will be an upcoming video too. Um, but I am ready as far as like, if I were to go into labor early, we're good to go. So my overall thoughts going into labor and delivery, I'm not really too nervous. I mean, it may be like a little, tiny smidge but I'm more excited to experience it I'm obviously excited to meet Kai our baby boy and I'm going to try to go into it natural um, I'm not like 100% I must have a natural birth I'm very much open to the things that are offered and I'll talk about that in a minute but I would like to experience the contractions and the process naturally at least in the beginning or as much as I can. And if I feel like I would want an epidural or want something like that, I'm keeping that option open too. So as of right now, baby Kai is head down on my bladder. It's been really, really fun. Hopefully he stays that way. I want to try not to have a C-section. Obviously, if I need an emergency C-section, we're gonna do it but I'm not like wanting to go in hoping that I have a C-section just because the recovery time is a little bit longer um, and I just want to experience a natural vaginal birth. So reading off of our birth plan, so the first thing that they ask you is bonding time. Our hospital is really awesome. Um, they keep the baby with you 24 seven. They don't ever take the baby away to like the nursery or anything like that. Obviously they'll take the baby if they need to for things like circumcision and all that stuff, but the time that you are there, you are with your baby, which I really, really liked. So the first little check boxes 
um, is just asking who, if anyone's staying in the hospital with you. Obviously, Josh will be staying with me. We do not plan on having anybody else in the room with us besides the hospital staff. We want our first birth experience to be just between us and sentimental and something that we can have together. Um, so no photographer, no videographer. I'm not really sure if I'm gonna video it at all or maybe a little bit. Um, we'll see. The second thing they ask is post-delivery pain medication options. So it gives you all of the options here and I put the list up for you guys so you could see. I think I checked off Witch Hazel, a heating pad, Tylenol and Motrin if I want it. I would like to avoid narcotic med pain medication if possible. The stool softeners I checked. I wasn't really sure on that one if I needed it or not. I guess it's something I can decide there too. And I would like to be walking. Obviously trying to not have narcotics. Um, so that is the pain management options that I chose. And then for an unplanned or emergency C-section if I needed one, I chose to obviously make sure all options were exhausted before this decision. I would want Josh to be there with me as much as possible. Um, I did check off lowering the drape to see the baby being delivered. And then I did ask them for to explain the surgery as it would happen if they needed to. And then to place my baby skin to skin right after, which was really nice. And then if you scroll down, you can see like what this baby friendly hospital what that means and what their standard standard of care is and then as far as during labor um i really liked the section i didn't even like think about this stuff so i'm really glad that it was on here um i checked off intermittent moderate intermittent moderate intermittent monitoring why can't i say that um so i can move around and move during labor Obviously, once you get an epidural, that diminishes, but leading up to that point, I definitely thought that was important for me. Um, I'm going to use my own personal music playlist, which I will probably share with you guys. I didn't make it yet, so <laughs> stay tuned for that. Um, dim lighting. I didn't want aromatherapy. I don't like a lot of like strong smells. I don't know, it's just like a personal preference. I'm not gonna labor in a tub. You would have to bring your own tub to this hospital to do that and it, no. And then they also have a lot of different equipment like a birthing ball, um, a birthing stool, walking telemetry so they can monitor your baby while you're moving around or in the shower or whatever. So that was really nice. So I checked off all those. Um, and then as far as pain relief, I pretty much checked off all of that, I think. And then we get to medication. So I checked off only if I request them and I'm open to what the doctors are saying. Also, obviously, if they think that something is a good idea, I'm going to be open to listening to them. But I know at the end of the day, that is my decision. Um, something that, I, that both Josh and I learned when we went to the class is that nitrous oxide is offered, which was pretty cool. So that can be like a step one before you choose to get an epidural if you were to go that route. So that's definitely something that I would do going into it natural. If I felt like I needed something, I would try the nitrous. And basically what you do is every time you have a contraction, you put the mask on, you breathe it in, it's laughing gas, and then once your contraction's over, you take the mask off and it's supposed to help with um, disassociating the pain. It doesn't fully take away the pain, but it kind of just helps disassociate it so it's not as intense. I've heard mixed reviews from people who I know that have used it, so we'll see how it affects me and if I even decide to use it once I'm there. But I did check that off. And then, like I said before, I'm not totally nixing out an epidural if I find that I get there and I really, really want it or need it. Sure, we'll see. And then the rest of the form is just about delivery. Um, so I chose to get coaching on when and how to push and I did not want to view the birth in a mirror or touch the baby's head. I would like to avoid an episotomy um, and we're not doing any of the placenta stuff. I'm not even going to bring up vaccines on here because that's just... And we are breastfeeding. So that's kind of the birth plan sheet in a nutshell. Um, like I said, 
whatever happens happens as long as we get this baby into the world safe and happy I will be happy so now that that's over with I did want to show you guys some of the nursery favorites and like the things that we chose for like the car seat stroller the bigger stuff as well as some smaller things and yeah so this stuff was all on my registry I registered through babylist.com because basically you can register from any store Amazon bye bye baby um, Target wherever you want and it all comes into one registry so I did like that um, I was thinking about doing just Amazon but there were some things that I wanted from different stores and places so I really really loved how that worked I really liked my experience with registering at Babylist um, I'll start with some of the smaller things so this is the diaper bag that we chose to get it is land brand it's on Amazon I'm gonna link all of this stuff in the description box for you guys um, if it's something that you wanted or wanted to get for somebody that you know is having a baby um, we opted to go for the backpack one just because I feel like it just fits our lifestyle a lot better it's better for your spine instead of being dragged down on one side um, and it's compact it's not super big so it opens on the top there's a bunch of different pockets on the inside. I have a couple things in there so far. And then there's pockets on the outside as well as this little one back here. And that just opens to the big compartment. And then the front one, you can store like bottles. It's all insulated really nice so that it should stay cold like a lunchbox. So I just thought that was really cute. Um, it will go with everything I feel like and even Josh can wear it without it being too super girly. So really loved that. And then to go along with that, this was also from Amazon. It's Skip Hop brand, but it's basically just a foldable, portable changing table. So it's all um, like waterproof. You can wipe it off lots of little pockets for different things and then it basically just opens up to a changing pad pretty simple there's a pocket for wipes up here a little box it came with so i just thought that was really cute and will be good to have if we're like hiking or on the go or just need a little changing table really quick all right the next thing we got was this kikaru is that how you say it Kikaru, oh, I'm dropping things. Hi. Mm -hmm. It's a changing table for his, I'm just going to put it up on the dresser because we didn't get an actual like changing table piece of furniture just because I felt like you'll see when I do the nursery tour, but getting a dresser is something that he can use forever. <laughs> so instead of wasting money on a changing table and then having to replace that once he's grown out of it, I just felt like it was better for us to just get the dresser. So we got this changing pad. If you're gonna jump up, go ahead. So this one was recommended from by like a lot of you guys over a cloth one because one, you don't have to wash anything on it. You can just wipe it off. It's like plasticky, but it's still really soft. So obviously I haven't used it yet. <laughs> I will give you an update on it once we do use it but it's really easy to clean stay sanitary and yeah and then another highly requested or highly suggested i should say item was the bobby pillow so i chose this mountain nature one it has little bears and trees on it um super cute you can change the cover a lot of you guys said this was really helpful for breastfeeding basically i can't really do it with the belly but you can lay down with it rest the baby on it and it kind of gives your arms a break so or you can just put the baby on it on the floor I think there's a bunch of different ways we also got the ergo baby omni 360 carrier this is like our more heavy duty one I also got like a not a wrap one but it's a softer one um, from Boppy actually but this one is gonna be like for hiking and I really liked it because both Josh and I can wear it and adjust it to fit it to our body so 
definitely more heavy duty. I got this one because it was newborn and up. I don't remember how much weight it holds, but we can use it for a while. Um, and like I said, we hike a lot or outdoors a lot, so this will be perfect for that. They can sit either facing you or facing outwards once they're old enough, so I really, really liked that. And then it comes with this little detachable like fanny pack. So perfect for hiking. I'm really excited to use it and it's really padded. It was really comfy. I tried it on. Um, I think it'll be super comfy for us and Kai. All right, last thing over here is we got the Hatch sound machine and it's a nightlight. <laughs> it's a nightlight and a sound machine um, and you can set it. It's with an app on your phone so you can set it to different things they have a bunch of different sounds and colors and you can set it how you want it you can set it to go off or on at a certain time so i think that'll be really helpful once he's in this room or wherever he is just to have this so i'm really excited to use it and i think we might try to use it before he even gets here but a bunch of different sounds so i thought that was really cute i don't know how to turn it off and then i'm not showing you guys any clothes yet except for this little hat that our friend Ashley got him. Josh just ordered some new fedoras, so they're gonna be twins, but I just thought that was so cute and little. This is from Old Navy, um, which they have really cute stuff there for baby boys, so I'm so excited. So onto the big stuff. This is the car seat stroller combo that we got. It's from Duna, and I'll take this off in a second. Um, I got this from Copper Pearl, just a little cover. It's like a five in one, so you can use it like to breastfeed, to cover, or just to keep the car seat covered. So I'll take that off so you guys can see. Excuse me. So we went with the Duna because I really liked how it's convertible. Excuse me, your boogers are already all in here. So it's a stroller and a car seat and I'll show you how it turns into one, it turns into the stroller after. But um, I just thought that was really convenient for travel or just for life in general because we realistically will never have to hold a heavy car seat. You can just pop the wheels down and use the stroller wherever we go and you don't have to take the baby out put him in the stroller it's just he's already in and he's good so it came with the um newborn insert which is this and this comes out after once he's big enough <sighs> i'm out of breath we just put a little toy on here um and then this part folds back if you don't want that covering his face and i'll show you guys how it turns into a stroller so this part comes forward. Cal thinks those toys are for him. And there's a, just a little latch back here. So the wheels drop down, it clicks, and then this gets taller. And then you have your stroller. What do you think? So I'll show you guys the inside. Do you like it? <laughs> so that's all it is on the inside. And I can't wait to put the baby in there. Where's your brother? Is he coming? Where is he? All right, two more things I wanna show you guys. So we also got the Mamaru by Four Moms little swing. I'll show you how it works. And basically, so it does different movements. That one goes really far. And then you can also either connect your phone or some kind of music to it to play music. But I thought that was really cute. That moves up there and that'll be his little swing slash chill out spot when we're working and the last big thing we got was the halo bassinet so this is where he'll sleep when he's in our room and I really liked it because it's called a swivel sweep swivel <laughs> sleeper so this moves so it'll swivel over your bed the bass is really strong and then it also plays different music and then I really liked it because this part dips down so when I'm reaching over in the middle of the night to get to him if he's crying I can just do that but this is all this comes out it's all washable so this is by Halo and there's a little pocket on the back to like put stuff in back there all right you guys so that pretty much sums up this video obviously I'll sh be showing you guys more things when I do the nursery tour. It's almost done, I promise. We have just a couple things to hang up on the walls, which we're gonna be doing today. Hopefully filming it next week, so I promise it will be up soon. A lot of you guys have been asking about that. 
Um, so I'll be showing you more stuff, obviously, in that video. And then obviously when he gets here, I'll show you like the clothes and all that stuff. If you guys have any questions or suggestions for the labor birth experience, please leave them in the comments. I'm also filming the hospital bag video probably tomorrow. So if you have suggestions on anything else I should bring or pack in that, comment below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.